pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Make yourself comfortable in your seat and close your eyes. Take in a deep breath and as you breathe out, feel your body begin to relax. Please breathe in and out through your nose, if at all possible. With every breath, you are feeling more and more relaxed. Take in one more full Deep breath and let your shoulders drop, let your face relax, your teeth part and feel more and more at ease. Now I am inviting you to listen to the sound of the tick, tick of the metronome. With every tick Tick, tick, you are becoming more and more relaxed. Let your mind just drift on the sound of tick, tick, tick. Feel your mind become clear and free and light as you just listen to the tick, tick, tick of the metronome. Just let go. Enjoy the sound. Clear your mind of all thoughts and just listen. Just listen. Relax and let go and be clear, light and free. Now when you are ready, take in a deep breath and as you breathe out, have a gentle stretch. Whatever feels comfortable for you right now. You are feeling confident, energized, light and free. Deeply relaxed and ready to enjoy a wonderful day. Instead of worrying about how big your fear is, think about how big God is. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about courage. Yeah, courage is doing what you know is right even when it's scary. It doesn't mean never being scared. It's okay to be scared, but if the thing that you are scared of is getting in between you and doing what God has called you to do, then it's time to be courageous. It's time to be brave. Now, you know, the Bible is full of examples of people who had to be brave, people who had a lot of courage. Because honestly, God loves to show his strength through his people, which means that God often calls us to situations which are honestly pretty scary. You know, one of my favorite examples of courage in the Bible is the story of David and Goliath. And you've probably heard this story before. You know, there's David, who's just a little shepherd boy, and he was an Israelite. And the Israelites had come up against this big army. They were called the Philistines. And so it was the Philistines versus the Israelites. And back then, sometimes instead of having the whole armies fight each other, they would just pick one champion from each side to go fight. And then whoever won, they would just say, that army won, even though it was just one-on-one -on -one fight. And the Philistines had this really big dude named Goliath, and he was huge. And he wasn't just huge. He wasn't just like, you know, stumbly-bumbly huge. He was a warrior. He was huge, and he was great at fighting. Super strong, super tough, super fast, super deadly. 
And when Goliath came out and challenged the Israelites, everyone was super scared. You know, the biggest and the strongest and the fastest and the bravest and the deadliest of the, of the Israelites, they were all scared of Goliath. They didn't think they could handle him. And so it was days and days where Goliath was coming out and he was taunting the Israelites and he was making fun of their God, our God. But everyone was so afraid of this giant, they didn't want to go fight him. Everyone was afraid, that is, except for David. And David, he just, he went to go to the fight to just bring his brothers who were fighting or were supposed to be fighting some food. And when he saw that all the Israelites were hiding, he was asking around, you know, wondering what was going on. And they told him about Goliath and he decided that he would go fight Goliath. Now, David wasn't even big enough to be, you know, fighting in a normal battle, let alone fighting one-on-one, -on -one, representing all of Israel against this giant named Goliath. But the difference between everybody else who was super scared and David who decided to be brave was that David wasn't comparing himself to Goliath. David was comparing Goliath to God. Now David knew that God wanted this battle to be won and he was just waiting for somebody to go do it. And so David was brave. David had courage and he went and he fought Goliath and he beat Goliath. And he didn't beat Goliath because David was bigger or scarier than Goliath. No way. But David trusted in God. David was brave enough to go do what everyone else was too scared to do, not because he had faith in himself, but because he had faith in God. And so that's my challenge to you guys today is that you would be courageous. I don't know what problems you're facing in your life. There are lots of problems that lots of people are going through. I know that every one of us is going to have situations in our lives that seem big and scary, but the truth is that nothing is bigger than God. God would love to help us to be courageous. Thank mm -hmm. you.